Hello and welcome to Le One Solve, the program. In this episode, I will show you our many different kinds of servos, but which one is the most suitable one? You know, when it comes to servos, you have a lot of options, but which one is better in the process of making robots, and which one is better in the process of making other things? So I will tell you the truth from three aspects. Let's get started. First, look at the rotation angle of our servos. You know, our servos have two type of rotation angles, and one is 180 degrees, another is 270 degrees. You can say uh, these servos, the LD20MG and the LD15 1MG, and this one is LDX216, the rotation angle of these three servos is uh, 180 degrees. In other words, these three uh, servos can be rotated 180 degrees. And look at these two servos, the LD2015MG uh, and the LDX227. These two servos can be rotated 270 degrees. And this is the one aspect. Let's look at the uh, second one. You know, our servos can be divided into biaxial servo and uniaxial servos, you can say. And these two servos is our biaxial servos because it has, as its name implies, it has two shafts, you can say. This one is our principal shaft and this one is our auxiliary shaft. So, uh, the principal shaft provides power, and that means if you put the servo horn like this one to the principal uh, shaft just like this, and then you can see how it works when the control board is powered on. And this is the principal shaft, but this one. Uh, although this auxiliary shift doesn't have the ability to provide power, but it's also very important because it helps you to fix your servo. And I will show you how to fix your servos uh, later in the program. And this is our axial servos. And look at these uh, three servos. We call the uniaxial servos because it only has one shift just like the just like this one shift the major shift okay and another difference between biaxial servo and uniaxial servo is that look at this biaxial servo this servo are pluggable and that means you can use a servo line to plug in plug out it's very convenient for you to use and next let's look at the torque of our servo First, uh, I will introduce this one to you, LD20MG. This servo, the appearance of this servo is very special. It's attractive, isn't it? Because it has a metal case. And also the torque of this servo is also special because the torque is 20 kilograms under the sixth voltage, but other servos, you can say, uh, the torque of other servos is 15 kilograms under the 6 voltage and if you purchase servos from our company we will offer you servo horn and also if you purchase by axial servos from our company we will offer you 30 centimeters servo line hello in this episode i will show you what exactly the difference between these two servos uh, between the biaxial servos and uh, uniaxial servos. Let's take these two servos as an example. You can say the LDX218 is our biaxial servos, and this one is our uniaxial servos. As we mentioned above, if you are using biaxial servos, you really you don't need to use multifunctional bracket, and this is our multifunctional bracket. All you need to have is to use this U-shaped bracket and this U-shaped bracket, the smaller one and the larger one, to, con to fix your servos. And just like this, we have already assembled one, so you can see clearly. And the small 
U-shaped bracket plays a, a fixed row, and this one, this larger one, connect the principal shaft and the auxiliary shaft. So when your servo controller is powered on, you can really control your servo's rotation just like that. Okay, and this is our biaxial servo. I will give you an example. In our company, this type of servo actually applies to human-like robot, spider-like robot. So this one just like a joint of robot, isn't it? Because robots have a lot of joints just like our human beings. But you can also apply this type of servo to many different kinds of things. And let's look at this one, this LD20MG. Uni-axial servo. If you are using this type of servo, you need to use this multi-functional bracket to fix this servo. And just like this, you can see uh, this is our bracket. And, and then because this servo has only one shift, so you need to use a bearing. And this is the bearing to join two things together, to join the uh, multifunctional bracket and this bracket. Okay, and actually this bearing acts as our auxiliary shaft. And then you can use a long U-shaped bracket to join two things together, to connect the two things together. And then this is our uni-axial servo. Actually, the final effect of these two type of servos is the same. You can also control the servo's rotation when the servo controller is powered on. So you can choose the way you like. And this is the end of today's program. Please join us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube pages. See you there.